Hello again, and a very warm welcome to the Zanut TV News Show. As always, I'm delighted to welcome Matt Chilton. Matt, what have you got for us this week? Thanks, Nick. This week we have production milestones and another electric vehicle story. Uh, first off is Leyland Trucks. It has produced its 100,000th DAF CF XF vehicle. Um, that rolled off the production line at Leyland. Um, it will be heading overseas. Um, it will be heading off to Australia. Um, they won the Queen's Award for Export for increasing exports for, uh, for by over 50% in the last three years. So I thought uh, a great milestone moment for them. Uh, the other milestone story is Airbus that has manufactured and delivered its 10,000th Airbus A320 family aircraft. Uh, that went to Middle East Airlines and every single wing set of those 10,000 aircraft were manufactured in the UK at the Airbus plant in Broughton. So I thought both of, for, for both of those businesses, fantastic milestones for both of them. And finally, um, viewers may say, Nick, Matt, surely you can't be bringing us another electric vehicle story. Well, we can because a Scottish manufacturer has launched the world's first electric fire engine. Um, fantastic story from Emergency One. Um, the vehicle itself has a range of up to 200 miles and up to four hours of pumping time uh, from a full charge. Uh, it's been a 16 month project that the business has undertaken and speaking to them last week, they said it won't stop. They're gonna continue their innovation processes to expand the range of electric fire appliances in future. So for us, I think certainly one to watch and yet another example of a British manufacturer innovating and embracing electric vehicles. And uh, let's hope it won't be too long before we see these uh, vehicles with uh, fire services across the country. Yeah, whoever made that rather dramatic video I think needs to take less coffee in the morning. Uh, made my eyes start. Um, and finally, I believe you got some news from BAE Systems because it does seem that defence budgets around the world uh, keep paying dividends for BAE. Yes, that's right. Um, so BA Systems, along with other partners at Team Tempest, have produced a report looking at the Tempest uh, Combat Aircraft Programme. Um, we're looking basically at £23.5 billion worth of value to the UK economy and supporting 20,000 jobs between 2026 and 2050. Uh, the aircraft itself is the replacement for the Eurofighter Typhoon currently in service with the Royal Air Force and others around the world. So this obviously comes a few weeks since we covered the smart factory uh, digital technology focus that BA Systems has at its Wharton facility. So again it's another story I think for us to keep an eye on, uh, see how it develops and obviously uh, a good news story from the perspective of you know sustaining jobs uh, and obviously you know um, the, the financial impact for the economy as well. Yes, Matt, good news indeed. And uh, during these very difficult times, not just of COVID, but also Brexit, who knows how that's going to end up. Uh, we could all use as much good news as we can bring you. So uh, thanks again, as always. Uh, this has been the Zanuk TV News Show. I'm Nick Peters from me and Matt Chilton. Goodbye for now.